Well, in a little over two months, Christmas will be here. I can't believe it. I know, we haven't even hit Halloween or Thanksgiving, but Christmas is important to talk about because you have to plan ahead. Yes, Christmas is on the 25th of December this year. COVID is not taking this away from us. We will have Christmas no matter what, but it's important to actually plan for it financially. A lot of people get to, you know, a few weeks out and they're like, oh, it's here. Just order a bunch of stuff, put it on the credit cards, we'll worry about it later. I don't want you to do that. So I want you to plan out and be very specific on your Christmas spending this year. As you're thinking about it, kind of come up with a total that you wanna spend on Christmas. Now I say this, I mean just gifts, but also on a side note, be thinking about other things you spend on Christmas, whether it's decorations, if you buy a real Christmas tree, if there are even gonna be parties this year, if you're gonna go, like think about those kind of things as well. But when you think about gifts specifically for who you're buying for Christmas, think about a total amount that you wanna spend and, they, and then realize, okay, this is how much I have to put away for the next two, two and a half months to get that total because the best way and the most efficient way to budget for Christmas is our classic zero-based budget. That's right. So figure out that total, put it at the top, and then list out all the people that you want to spend money on this Christmas. Think through everyone. And in this list, for me personally, I still think about like teacher gifts or hostess gifts, like those things too. Put all that in there. Think as much in much detail as you can about who you're going to spend money on. And then, the fun part, you get to put dollar amounts next to each of these people and decide, okay, who do I really like and actually wanna spend a lot of money on this Christmas? But you put dollar amounts next to each person's name and then the goal here is all of those names with those dollar amounts added up minus how much you're gonna spend is gonna equal zero. So every single dollar that you plan to spend on Christmas presents this year is already added up. You have a plan in place. And the great thing about that is that you can go shopping and you can actually stay within a limit and a boundary because it is so easy, or I'm a spender, so it's easy for me. When I'm getting creative and thinking about different gifts, like something else will pop up or like, you know how some websites have, you know, if you like this product, view these four more. And I'm like, I never thought about that. Add that in, add that in. Like I can do that so quickly. So having that guideline is so, so important. And we all know this, but it's true. Like. Listen, giving great gifts is wonderful. It's very generous, very kind. But like your relationships are not dependent upon Christmas and the gifts, okay? So if you are on a really tight budget this year because you're getting out of debt, you're saving up for an emergency fund, like you're doing the things we teach and you're like, wow, we just don't have that much money to spend, that's okay. I do not want you to feel guilt and shame over how good or not so good your Christmas presents are. So stay within the budget, have a guideline, and I promise it's going to help you so much coming up. And the fact that you're freaking planning ahead because P.S. I've heard a lot of stores are not doing Black Friday sales because they're not having people in their stores. So those sales might be moving to Cyber Monday. And then if all of the world shops on Cyber Monday, who knows if your Christmas presents are gonna get there in time. So actually, if you wanna start shopping sooner than like December or Thanksgiving, probably better off. Just a little tidbit. I don't have people that I know like working shipping, you know, in the world, but I just have a hunch. Just just throwing it out there. Now, when it comes to presents, one thing I talk about a lot is your spouse. And so those of you that are married, when it comes to buying your Christmas gifts, some people are like, well, if you have a joint account, how do you do it? How do you do it? Well, here's a couple sneaky ways that you can still buy your spouse a gift without them knowing. Uh, number one, just don't buy them a gift. Yep, easy, that's it. Winston and I do this sometimes. Our anniversary is like right by Christmas. So usually we'll just kind of lump everything into one gift. Sometimes we're like, eh, you know, maybe we don't even need a gift this year. And so you just save money that way. So you're welcome, Winston Cruz, you're welcome. You can also just get a Visa gift card. These are super easy. You can buy these like at Walgreens or Target, Walmart, like just buy, you know, the gift card of the amount of money you want to spend. And then you use that gift card online. So you can use it just like a debit card, you know, when you type in, it's all right there. So that's an easy, easy way. Now, if you want to be really sneaky and surprise them, which I've done this twice. Again, you're welcome, Winston Cruz. Uh, find someone in your life that's done like, mm, okay with money and they got, a little, they got a little bit to spare for at least like a business day or two because you can have them buy the gift and then 
after Christmas is said and done, they get their gifts, then you just Venmo them back. So listen, I mean, people are like, oh, that's debt, that's it. No, it's not. If you have the money, but you're just being sneaky about it, it's okay. But make sure the person that, you know, you're being like under the radar with, that like they're okay financially and all that. So um, Sharon Ramsey, yep. She's done this for me a time or two. I've tried to be I'm like, mom, you buy it, and then I'm gonna pay you back. Or you write them a check and say, don't cash the check until after Christmas. So there's ways to do it, people. You just gotta get around the system, get a little creative, think outside the box, and you'll be great. But again, the most important thing here is that you are being intentional with your Christmas spending early on. Again, that's why we're talking about it in freaking October, but you need to be thinking about it reminding you. So you can actually download my Christmas budget. It's a great budgeting tool to help you out this Christmas season. There's a link in the show notes. So make sure you go there, check it out. And don't let the January you hate the December you. So be smart, you guys, as you're Christmas shopping. 